Good evening. It is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021, and it is time have to sneeze. It's time for a team Tuesday. My name is Lunicia Mayberry. The mission statement is to bring strength, independence, and empowerment to individuals and their families by building confidence and financial freedom through affordable fashion. While $5 jewelry may not change the world, we believe those who wear it will. Our team scripture is Proverbs 10 and 4, the hands of the diligent shall prosper. Our team mantra is saving souls from poverty and building generational wealth, $5 at a time. Excuse me. And our team motto is habits reflect the mission. Good evening, team hustling honeys and homies. So good to see you all here. Do me a favor. Share this link on your team page. Get your team members in here because we are about to talk about the fourth quarter. So while you can still get your folk in here, we're going to talk about some other times. Some other times. This month's team challenge was to double your PV. Don't forget, tomorrow is the last day to uh, post the screenshot of your final PV for the month, showing um, that you did indeed double your PV. So make sure that you look for that um, announcement. Wow. That announcement in the um, on the team page, and uh, put your put your uh, screenshot in the comments. I'm sorry, y'all. Some some people. Um, I I am very pleased to announce that we did double R O V. R O V March of 2020 was four hundred six thousand three hundred and eight. RPV, the last time I checked, was, which was about an hour ago, there's still some updates going through, but ROV today is 881,542. What? Yes, we're almost to our highest OV ever. I thought we were going to hit a million this month, but um, maybe we'll do that next month. So, But I'm still extremely pleased. I'm so happy. Congratulations to everybody. What does this mean? This means that... Um, our team will have representation at the um, fashionista portion of the uh, WROV Zoom. For those of you who are not aware, corporate gave us a challenge, <coughs> excuse me, gave us a challenge at the beginning of the year, towards the middle of January, to increase our business by 100% which basically means doubling your OV every month this year. We didn't quite make it for January. We were way far off in February, but March, we killed it. So look for that double your uh, PV challenge again in April. Uh, it's something that we should be trying to do anyway, right? We should always be striving to be our best. We should always be striving to grow beyond what we did last week, last month, last year. So look for that challenge again. Uh, leaders, because I, I have a, a different challenge in mind for um, for April. For, for March, those of you who do not know, for my unmaxed legs and my levels one, two, and three, uh, if they double their PV and posted their proof, uh, their name goes into a raffle for someone to get matched. Whatever uh, the double, I think, it might be the original, whatever the double PV amount was, they're going to get matched. So for April, just so y'all get a heads up, no, I'm not going to tell you, because some of y'all be like, oh, I'm not behind tomorrow. I want this count for April. So I'm not going to do it. But I will say, leaders, you need to start thinking now of some type of raffle on, on your level. No shade, but on, on your level of raffling, okay, to give your team to those uh, individuals who double their PV. The reason why I am challenging the leaders to do that is because that gives the team as a whole more chances to win. Because then they have a chance from you and your applying and your applying and your applying and your applying up to me, right? So leaders start thinking about that. Think of um of a prize number one that you can afford okay don't don't pay somebody's mortgage 
<laughs> that's not what you can afford to do. And number two, that that's worth having for um, doubling the uh, PV because that that is a pretty high suit. Now, if your PV was low in April of 2020, then challenge yourself to either double your highest PV or you know to triple or quadruple that amount. Okay. Don't just, oh, my PV was 100 last year. All I got to do is 200. Bet. Nah, stretch yourself, okay? Grow yourself out. All right. Uh, Next, sell your jewelry. We bought a lot of jewelry this month, okay? 881,442 OV divided by two times five is a lot, a lot of money, okay? Sell your jewelry. Don't, don't just pile up the boxes. Don't just build a jewelry museum. Sell your jewelry, okay? Right now in the chat, I want everybody to list a way you can sell your jewelry with, without going live. Just put it on out there. There's so many different ways that you can sell your jewelry. Let's help each other out. Put some ideas in the chat for those that may be new or those that just might be at a point of just frazzled in their head like, I can't think of anything else. Check out the chat. All right, next, we have still quite a few ranks on the line with a little bit over 24 hours left in the month. You guys, please reach out to your sponsors and uplines. Find out what they need from you. Find out how you can help. Recruiting helps, and it's free, okay? Um, doing the Cinderella Challenge helps, and it's free. Selling your jewelry and reinvesting back into your business helps. It's not free. Kind of is. If you're selling your jewelry and you're using your jewelry money to buy jewelry, then it didn't cost you nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's snatch these ranks up, y'all. It's, it's still plenty of time, but we're getting short on time at the same time. So let's not waste time. Amen? All right. Moving right along. Uh, I also wrote on here, nab some Z's because they have a tendency to suddenly disappear around this time of the year, very unexpectedly. So some, some pieces do take their final bow in April. I, I am looking for Charismatic to take its final bow next month. I don't have any insider information on that. Just based on that piece alone, track record, Charismatic and Lucretia. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking next month may be the last time we see them. I could be wrong, I hope I'm wrong. But make sure that you have some in your inventory so that when that customer comes next month, next year, whenever, looking for it, they can get it from you. You don't have to send them to me because guess what? I got them. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving right along. Next month is Atomic April. Atomic. Let's think about the atomic bomb. Whenever you see in the movies an atomic bomb go off. That thing goes up and then it goes out, right? In a, in a ring and it, it has a radius of things that it touches. That's what this April needs to be like. Your business needs to go up and out to the masses. Mash the gas, no brakes. All gas, no brakes. Ain't that what the young people are saying now? All gas, no brakes. There, there's never a time in this business that we hit the brake. Uh, just in case you was wondering, when do we let up off the gas? Never! Okay, but next month is, is huge because it's the first month of the last quarter of the paparazzi year. So there's so many things that we need to finalize before June 30th. We need to finalize these crown clubs. We need to finalize these life of the party levels. We need to finalize these rank advancements. So many things. We need to finalize our most, uh, our top amount of monthly sales. We need to finalize whatever our personal goals were for the 2020, 2021 fiscal year. This is the last quarter to do so. So it's very important that you, hey, up and out with that thing. And it's not, it don't go out slowly. It go, woo, like it, man. This month is, is pre pretty serious. Okay, I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all ready. Are we ready to talk about tonight's 
subject. I see we have 55 people here. I'm pretending like that's okay. Probably won't do a good job pretending. Uh, oh, sorry. Got a few more announcements. This Saturday, uh, April the 3rd, and for the rest of April, we are we have been having Self-Improvement Saturday. For those of you who do not know, Self-Improvement Saturday is uh, an hour and a half of listening to a book on Audible, okay? Um, it starts at 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern time. This month's book will help everybody's business. How do I know? Because our upline, Christy Waller, it has completely changed her business. Christy, if you don't know, advanced in rank to Maven A-lister over the weekend and is really, really close to getting Jet Setter, which if you know anything about OV and how the numbers work, that's quite a leap to do in the same month, but it's very possible she's going to do it. And she gives a lot of credit to this book. The book is called Get Over Your Damn Self. And I love saying that title because there's a cuss word in it. I'm just saying so we will be starting get over your damn self on saturday you want to be there so many awesome business building tips recruiting tips you want to be there you want to have your pen and paper ready the replay of course will be available but why not set aside the time now set the alarm now to be there and listen to it live with your teammates if you're available so that's gonna be every saturday in the month of April, we've been doing this since December. This is the first book that I've actually like came on Team Tuesday and for real push like, hey, if you could be there, please be there. Last month's book, I know y'all y'all pretty much told me without telling me that it was pretty boring. I'm sorry, my bad. I should have listened to that one first. But I've listened to this one and there's some good stuff in there. So please make it your business to be there. Yes, it is a great book. All right, so... Let's talk about the fourth quarter and pivots. So um, I, and those of you who are not big sports fanatics, just kind of uh, flow with me, okay? So uh, I come from a football family. We're going to talk about basketball, but we're going to talk about football first. Come from a football family. When the fourth quarter comes, they do this in football and basketball, actually. Fourth quarter, as soon as that buzzer rings and it's the top of the quarter, Everybody holds up their fours. So everybody who got your camera on, hold up your fours. This is a symbol that it is game time. It's on. Let's go. I'm not tired no more. I'm fighting. This game's not over. I'm still in it. Let's go. It, it is a, a, a sense of unity. Like we all this, this together, like to see a whole football team on the sideline. Everybody holding up their fours together. Man, just thinking about it right now, it gets me hyped. Seeing y'all fours up is getting me hyped because that's telling me I'm still in this. I'm still fighting. I'm still doing this. Y'all, it's on. It's on. It's the fourth quarter of the fiscal year. So let's talk about this word pivot. Okay? Let's talk about this word pivot. Because some of you are at a place in your business where you're like, okay. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Something's not working. I'm doing everything I know to do, but I'm not getting the results that I'm seeing everybody else get. Everybody around me is winning. What am I doing wrong? So you feel that way? Yes? Okay, so let's talk about this word pivot. The definition of pivot uh, I thought I had a screenshot ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I want to give you the, the textbook definition before I break it down to you. Definition. Oh, you would go slow tonight, phone. Okay, so pivot. Actually, I already had it. In terms of basketball, okay, 
This word is used to define both the act of keeping one foot in place while moving the other and the actual foot remains on the ground. Keeping one foot in place is necessary when a player stops dribbling the ball but wishes to reposition himself to pass or shoot. Now, I know some of you are like, what NL does that have to do with paparazzi? What does that mean? It means, think of it like this, okay? So this person has the basketball. That's you, okay? You got the ball. The ball is your business. Okay. The foot that's grounded is your why. Okay. The foot that's moving is the foot that's allowing you to quickly reassess the court and your options. Y'all follow me? Who's lost? Everybody good? So, why do you have to do it quickly? Well, in basketball, you have to do it quickly because it's only so long you can hold the ball before you get a foul called against you. In terms of paparazzi, why do you have to do it quickly? Because April is Thursday. It's the day after tomorrow. So you have to quickly assess the situation of your business. Now, you can pass the ball. You can shoot the ball. Can't hold that ball too long. Now, passing the ball, does that mean you're passing it to another team member? No, because in this analogy, all five people on the court, all ten people on the court are you. You're defending yourself against you. You could pass the ball to you at a different position, at a different angle. Huh? You could shoot it from where you at. Are y'all following me? I hope you're following me. Why are you... Defending yourself against you because you are your only competition. You're not competing against your fellow paparazzi siblings. You're not competing against your teammates, your upline, your downline, your sideline. You are competing against you. Some of you are shooting three pointers when you should be making layups. What does that mean? I never watch basketball. Well, some of you are shooting your shot from way too far out. When you could be running in closer to the basket and shooting. I hope that broke that down a little bit simpler for you non-sports fans. Watch some March Madness, okay? <laughs> so what am I saying, T? I'm saying it is time to take a brief, and I do mean brief, assessment of what you have done well the last nine months, what you have done not so well the last nine months, what has worked for you, what didn't work for you, what could have worked for you if you did it a different way. But in order to have a pivotal moment in your business, you must first pivot. Now, if you just gonna keep shooting three pointers without assessing the situation, well, you could just pass it down to the man that's closest to the best and let him shoot and get it. That's all you going for three points when you can get the two and get the three points next time. Huh? First of all, stop looking at everybody else. Everybody else's stats, stat sheet. Oh, she a triple threat. She got crown club life of the party and she ranking like crazy. So girl yes i'm back over here man she sold over two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry in one month and i only did 500 <laughs> so woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. girl yes because i guarantee you if she sold over two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry in one month she ain't getting no sleep huh she working around the clock or she making so much money, she paying somebody to help her. All you see is the outcome. You didn't see the deposits that went in for the outcome. It's up to you to focus on your own business 
and what you're doing. Don't get caught up in the hype. Don't get caught up in the Kirk Franklins and Derek Jacksons of the world. That stuff don't matter. What matters is you, your story, your empire that you're building, your goals that you're accomplishing, the things that you're able to do because of paparazzi. It doesn't matter if it's a big deal to somebody else. It's a big deal to you because it's something that you wrote down that you wanted to achieve that you can put a check mark next to and say done. But now nine months have gone by. How close are you to achieving that thing? Have you already achieved it? Oh, then you definitely need to pivot because now you need new goals. Okay. So I need everybody taking, taking an assessment. One of the things that I'm doing for my own business this next quarter, I need a schedule of when things are going to take place in my business. You need to see an example. I've got a great example from our upline, Christy Waller. I was looking through her pictures to, um, to get a picture of her, to get several pictures of her for her um, promotion graphic. Excuse me. And oh, what's it not in here? When I saw this, I was like, yes. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm going to share my screen and show y'all as soon as I pull it up in my pictures because y'all don't need to see everything in my phone. <laughs> no. Okay. So here we go. Screen. But when, when I break down how simple this schedule is, you're going to be like, oh, okay. I could do that. And sometimes it's, it's really as simple as creating a schedule. Maybe you've been posting pictures like crazy of your jewelry, but you've been kind of doing it willy nilly and random all over the place, right? Maybe you need just a simple schedule. So this was uh, something Chrissy posted. I think this was actually some years ago, but as you can see right here, she has the dates that this particular schedule is going to take place. It says Monday, Opportunity Live, replay with Premier Director Angel. So, I mean... This ain't even her. She's telling you, you can uh, hear about the opportunities on Mondays. On Tuesdays, she do a flash sale on IG. And then she gives her IG handle. Wednesdays, don't look for me live. You can shop these albums, though. Mm -hmm. Thursday, live, 9 p.m. Join my team every day. What don't you see on here? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, I've think, this is just my theory, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was most likely for parties, because Chrissy does that. But you see how simple this schedule is? She's working her business every day, but she only showing her face on Thursday. Some of y'all get so bent out of shape thinking that you got to go live every single day. Yes, that's helpful to your business, but if it's getting you to the point where you don't want to go live at all, then Give yourself one day. Work your way up to two days. But the rest of the week, it's still jewelry being shown or something about the business taking place. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all another example. Uh, my pictures for this. Okay. Here. This is our very own Trista Carter. Trying to um, turn it so it'll be bigger. Why isn't it doing it? It's not rotating the screen for me. But anyway, okay, so let me maybe make it bigger. Okay. So in Trista's schedule, and this is actually the banner on her business page. She tells you right here, she's live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9. She do wild drops daily in her VIP group. Opportunity night every Tuesday. This is crucial. Weekly opportunity nights are crucial to your business. Even if you're repeating the same information every week, I guarantee you it's not the same people listening every week. Repeat it. Somebody's going to hear it and it's going to speak to them. And then she tells you when all of these things are not taking place, 
you can still shop my website 24 7 and here it is right here and look how cute i am too you want to shop with me you understand what i'm saying so i challenge you to make a schedule for april and post it and see the difference that it makes in your business but not only should you post it but you need to stick to it you need to create something that you can stick to and do consistently without burning yourself out many times i have told myself i'm gonna go live every day this month and by the 15th i'm dog tired hating makeup hating my hair hating clothes especially a bra and just ready to really be done but i said i was gonna do the whole month so then all my lives for the rest of the month are just kind of like blah because it feels like a chore and i have to be there don't do that to yourself if you know you can't handle that don't do it but you can challenge yourself to go live every thursday at seven o'clock drop them um, albums every wednesday from 8 a.m to 8 p.m or whatever whatever you can stick to and do consistently do that when your customers and your followers your potential business partners known and unknown trust me we all have some unknown potential business partners mm -hmm. when they see you being consistent and having results they will join you why because people are attracted to success and they're attracted to organization nobody wants to join somebody who looks like they have a chaotic random business but if you're showing that you have structure i am here at these days at this time my business hours are named that movie then people will feel comfortable partnering with you they feel like you got your mess together and they, they can they can walk this walk with you okay that's all i got bam under 30. Oh, yes. any questions oh y'all lighting the chat up what y'all saying over here any questions it holds you accountable, most definitely. I said I need to start doing opportunity live, but nervous about it. Don't be nervous. Just do it. The more often you do it, the less nervous you'll be. Schedule is definitely a winner. Good side for Yes. Absolutely, Denise. She said um, the schedule is going to be a good side for a postcard. So... I have these um, little cards that I send out um, when a non-consultant makes a purchase from me. And yes, it would be good to have my thank you on one side and my schedule on the other side. But these cost money, so it needs to be a schedule I know I can stick to before I spend that money putting it out there, right? Advertising a time that I'm not even present, that's, that's, not, that's not cool. I love basketball too, Tiffany. Yes, you are your biggest com competition. Yes, I said NL. Uh, the time for self-improvement Saturday is 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern. And then y'all listed the ways. Good, good ways we can uh, make money without going live. I want to go to the beginning of these and read them out. Bling bag, vendor events, wall drops, messenger parties, wall drops, bling bag, safe home party. I love it. Stories, Facebook stories, and your IG stories. Remember, you can connect your Facebook and IG stories together and post one time. So um, I, I would give that a stab too. Carry your bling bag, vendor events, yes, online parties, work. Absolutely, take your jewelry to work if you can. At home, YouTube pre-recording, yes. I made a lot of money doing that, guys. Mm -hmm. I did that in June and July. Pre-recorded 15-minute um, videos and posted it to YouTube. Had customers coming out the wazoo. Uh, comments all, yes, a web store, period. It's going to do that for you. Uh, IG, wearing and selfie pose absolutely sherilyn build a web store vip group personal parties post photos on facebook and ig jennifer says i sell at church got them sisters on point baby okay honey yes 
Those were always my best vendor events at the church. <laughs> Carry the bling bag everywhere at Wild Drop. Send photos to friends and family. Yes. Private virtual parties. Yes. You can do those on Zoom, Facebook rooms. Absolutely. Hostess parties, VIP group, web, website, bas basket parties. Yes. I'm almost comfortable with basket parties again. Messenger parties, albums. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Good job, team. Uh, I stopped doing the YouTube pre-recordings because, um, number one, I started putting Team Tuesday on YouTube and I didn't want leaders to feel like I was poaching their team to get onto my YouTube channel to buy from me. Um, even though that's how some people feel anyway. Also, I wanted to do, I wanted my YouTube channel to have more training content than selling content. And when I can figure out a way to do both without it interfering, uh, I was going to say it or offending anybody, but somebody's always going to be offended. But if I can do it where um, I'm able to do both successfully um, and consistently, then I, I will start to do that again because I actually enjoyed it. I like adding the special effects to the pre-recorded videos and um the, the noises and, and the little words across the screen. I, I love that kind of stuff. I wish I could do that with Facebook Live, but it's not available yet. Uh, there is a three-layered gorgeous necklace available in the back office called High Heels and Hustle. Hmm. Let's see it then. Hmm. You got me curious. Let's see it then. Mm hmm. High heels are hustle, you say. Let's look at it together. I don't know why my computer doesn't want to know who I am sometimes. High heels. You know, anything with the word hustle in it, I want it. Doggone it. Look at her, look at her, come in brass too. Ooh. Girl. Yes, honey. And it's got pearls on it. Perfect for the season. Uh, we coming into Mother's Day season, y'all. Do you have your Mother's Day jewelry available? Don't wait for the Mother's Day tab to open in the back office. You have your own. <laughs> Let me do it when I get off with y'all. Um. <laughs> Yes, I like that. Thank you, Viri. Um, start getting your Mother's Day pieces together, your pearls, your bling, your um, big regal is going to do good with grandmas because it's big and chunky and close to the neck. They like that kind of stuff. Keeps them warm. Uh, some grandmas. It's such a different range of grandmas nowadays that, that probably disregard. Get your pearls and your bling ready for Mother's Day. Y'all, Easter has caught me completely off guard. I didn't realize until I found out Sunday was Palm Sunday that Easter is next week. I'm like, dang, I ain't did no type of pastel live showing the Easter pastels. So I refuse to let Mother's Day catch me off guard. I think it's in 40 days. Alexa, how many days away is Mother's Day? Mother's Day was shot in 40 days on Sunday, May 9th, 2021. 40 days, y'all. 40 days. So I'm not quite sure how to help oh, I'm that. done. I'm done talking to you. Alexa off. Oh. 40 days to get your to get your Mother's Day stuff together. So don't don't get caught off guard. Start doing it. Start petitioning to these men and letting them know, hey. Uh, you could take care of your mama, your sister, your auntie, your daughter, your grandma, your wife, all in one stop shop. That was only five fingers. That's twenty five dollars. You can take care of them all, or you can get them all full sets. Mm -hmm. Put some sets together, some Mother's Day sets together, and he hit these men up. They don't know what these women want for Mother's Day. Help them out. Those of you with web stores with gift cards, this is a great time to push those too. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all didn't have no questions for me. I'm trying, uh, 
Oh, <laughs> sorry, Katura. <laughs> Tiffany, you a grandma? Oh, yeah. You don't look like you nobody mama. Oh, young look as hell. <laughs> With a matching bracelet. See, y'all, I be in my own world sometimes and miss it. I could not keep the pink in stock or that necklace. Oh, it came out in pink. I'm so late. Okay. Okay, so y'all excited about the necklace? Go get it. Go get it. Would you recommend starting a YouTube channel just to sell your jewelry? You can, because you can go live on YouTube. So you can and build that following up there. If you're going to do that, I, I would recommend definitely doing a weekly opportunity on there because social media outlets such as YouTube and Instagram are wide open, okay? Facebook, we don't kilt it. I mean, <laughs> it's still a good place to, to find people to, to purchase from you and join your team, but there are other social media settings that are not all the way hip to paparazzi yet, and we need to invade those as well. So uh, if you're going to sell on YouTube, I strongly recommend throwing an opportunity event in there once, if not twice a week as well. If you feel yourself, take loads of pictures and post throughout the week. Yes, Shamsa, absolutely. Um, pre-recorded vids, how? So the pre-recorded video, you just record with your device. And then um, I use iMovie to edit my videos, to add all the effects and stuff on there. Um, and then you save it to iMovie and then you upload it to YouTube. That's pretty much it. Okay, so we done. If there's no more questions, oh, Sherilyn has her hand up. Yes, ma'am, talk to me. Okay. Hey, Lanisha. Um, hey. I have a quick question. Okay. I was wondering because I'm organizing all my jewelry or whatever, and I've noticed, like, in the beginning of my paparazzi journey, I took a lot of stuff out the packages, and um, I don't know the names of it because I want to start my web store. So I'm like, mm. Okay. These names. Can we possibly get a post that we could post under? Like, you know how we do the congratulation post, the anniversary post welcome to the team post can we get a post to say uh what's this piece called type thing <laughs> we can do that but I'm, I'm gonna show you something else give me um a description of a piece that you don't have plastic for um i have one right here silver it's um uh, flowers on it don't ask me what type of flower it is I didn't take that class. Is it a bracelet or a necklace? <laughs> it's a necklace. What? It's a okay. necklace. It, it's five flowers. The earrings are flowers on it. Hold on. So I just typed in silver flower necklace paparazzi. Oh, dang. And <laughs> images. And this necklace That's is it right called there. Secret Garden. Mm. Then I got a whole lot of wood pieces and everything. So I was like, mm. Might be some earrings randomly and I got a purple necklace, a three-tier. I'm just like, okay. Okay, so I, we can open up that post on the team page, but this is an option as well because um, you That was just a write, random one I had right in front of me, but some of them I'm like, I don't know the good description. Right, that, yeah, I just wanted you to give me an example of something that you had right in front of you. But um, yeah, you, you can actually start the post. I'll approve it. And um, we can pin it in the announcements and help each other out. Yes, you can also go to your order history. However, in your order history, um, depending on how deep your order history is, you might be looking at pictures for a long time trying to find stuff. That's the way I did it. The hostess recently. pieces, too. Yeah, the, the hostess, yes, absolutely. And I remember some of them did not come with a name on it. So they do except um they put that hostess sticker over the name sometimes and you can't peel it off and separate it. Right. So um yes, Sherilyn, put the post up, I'll approve it. We'll pin it in, in the um in the announcements, but also try that that Google option. That helps. Uh when okay. you're in the midnight hour and you 
can't wait for an answer for somebody. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Shanza, go ahead. Okay, the way I do it, because I have a lot of stuff that I do not know the name. I got Lanisha, Tyronica, and I go through their pages. <laughs> and I go through all their jewelry. And if I got it, I write the name down. I'm with the number. <laughs> so that's, that's the honest, way I do well. it. Mm -hmm, that's the way I do it. Yeah, that, that's another option. Mm -hmm. You can also Google in your search and take a pic. See, I don't know how to do that. I've heard people say that before. Um, Shantae says you can also do a, a Google image search and take a pic and search. Uh, I'm going to have to try that. Thank you for that. All right. All right. Anything else? Anybody got anything else for me? Next time I see y'all, it'll be April. Katora, what you got? Go ahead and uh, unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yep. Another thing um, she could try is she could just take a picture of it, like pose it on a bus and she could load it in her store. And you don't necessarily have to have a name per se. You just post a picture and if they want it, you sell it. That's how I'm going to have to do a lot of my hostess rewards because I don't know the names of all of them. So instead of looking for it, I mean, if you got the time to look for it and you want the description and all of that, that's fine. But you could just take a picture of the piece and just post it in, you know, in the store. Just come up with whatever section and name it, whatever you want to name it. But yeah, you just post like that piece. When the um, when the EMP pieces came mm -hmm. out, right? Um, a lot of these they didn't have names on them when they came out, so they were in my store as EMP piece number one, mm -hmm. EMP mm -hmm. piece number two. You know, but I, I use the stock photos. Some people I like I prefer the stock photos because I'm one of those people that I want my store to be uniform, so I want. Everything that has a stock photo, everything has a paparazzi crown. Some people aren't like that, but I am. So, but that is an option to take a picture. Now, there has been things that I went live and showed, and it wasn't in my store. Couldn't find it. Needed to hurry up and invoice this person. I did snap a picture, load it, just so I could get it on their invoice mm -hmm. and out the door. So, yes, that, that is just another option. Yep, definitely another option. Uh, go ahead, Suzette. Uh -oh. Yes, I have a question for you ladies. Um, how many of y'all use Facebook Shop? And if so, what do you think about it? Facebook Shopper? It's called Facebook Shop. Facebook Shop. Um, you talking about for the business page? Um, yes, well, you know, Facebook, they have the thing called Facebook Shop now where you can um like it has just like an online store, but on Facebook where they have the price and everything where the purchase, the people could purchase it through Facebook. Yeah. So when Facebook shop first came out, I looked into it and I was getting ready to transfer my store over to it. What made mm -hmm. me stop was three things. The first thing was um, it. I have a comment sold store, so it wouldn't let me upload everything from comment sold straight into it. So I was going to have to, manually log one piece at a time and i've already done that once i wasn't you know um too excited to do that again number two the percentage that facebook takes from the jewelry i felt like was a little steep i don't remember exactly what it was because this was back in september so it could have changed between now and then but uh i didn't like the amount that they were taking and then the third thing that was just like the straw that broke the camel's back they it was written in that you had to have a 30 day return policy. And I was like, Oh no, because the last thing I need is for somebody to get the jewelry, have it for 27 and a half days day. and try to return it to me. Cause they done wore it to the pool and the beach and it's black. And now no, that's not going to happen. So I was like, this isn't for me at this time now. And plus, they also didn't have the, in the retail categories, they didn't have jewelry as a category. It had like watches and it had something uh -huh. else. And so I was just like, I'm going to give Facebook some grace and time to improve this system and circle back to it later. Mm -hmm. And so I haven't looked back at it since that time, but mm -hmm. I do know that C-Key uses it. I'm not sure if C-Key's in here tonight, but she does 
use it. I know that you can link it to your IG and that's helpful, but um, those, right. those three things originally were non-negotiable for yeah. me. Well, what I thought about of it was like, um, you know, I went and download my whole store Twitter and thing, but I would like, I would thought about like when you post wall drops and stuff like that and um, have, you know, it's able to have the pricing, but I'll see how, you know, they develop it as well, because I know he was speaking about ads and stuff when I was uh, looking at the video, I guess that they're trying to entice us to, you know, have advertisers. Right. And I, I'm not trying to push you away from it, but we do have to keep in mind that our commission is $2 and 25 cents. So right. anything that's taken extra on top of that is cutting that even more. So, I mean, I'll pack it. right. So, I mean, it, it's something to, to consider. Uh, did anybody else have any input on that? Kriana, did you have something on that? It also links to your square store. When I load to my square store, it also loads to Facebook. Okay. That's good. To okay. Know. Amber says, is it a compliance issue to name pieces something else? Uh, I believe so, Amber. I don't, well, I don't know. That I'll have to look up. I'm not sure. Okay. But I appreciate the lady taking time. To do that. Okay. No problem. All right. I'm going to get to y'all in just a second. I'm trying to see, um, uh, what I missed in the chat, uh, Tamika and Kriana. Cherry Stock Photo Group is a great place to find pictures. They are posted daily and then they are moved to an album based off of color and category. Awesome, Kim. That is good to know. I will call that section one and done. Yeah, I have a one and done section. You can use a warm hair dryer to get the hostess. Oh, look at you. To get the hostess sticker off. So you can see the name of the item. Okay. Awesome. How do you upload? Okay, yeah, I bet I don't, I can't help you there. All right, let's see. Crayana, go ahead and unmute yourself. Go ahead, what's your question? Yes, yes I do. <clears throat> sorry, I do have one question. Um, I'll be seeing a lot of people's lives pop up in my Facebook. Um, and looks like they have a lot of viewers on there from different places. So is that something you have to pay for or is it something that you can do separate? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like You're talking about where like it'll have a, a, a white number in either the left or the right hand side? It may or it says join this broadcast or something or that's usually when someone uh, is going live from a business page. Oh, okay. Instead of their profile page. Okay, but it's always better to go really live from your profile page because you have. So you build that your, following and you can push them over. Okay. Yep. Okay, can you mute me back? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, Tamika. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. I was just going to um, comment regarding the, the Facebook shop. Mm -hmm. I have my pieces. Um, they go on my Shopify and they get loaded on my... They get loaded on my um, business page, too. Mm -hmm. But I don't use the um, checkout through Facebook. You know what I mean? Oh. So they're on my business page, but if they if someone wants to um, purchase it, they will click on the item to buy it and it's going to route them back to my website. So I was going to tell, you know, the other young lady who brought that up that that's an option, you know, if you yeah. want to, because I, I, I thought it would be good to have that way for people that are on Facebook, you know what I'm saying, to um, get the jury in front of them. But I was like you, Lanisha. I was like, but um, no, I'm not trying to get Facebook no profits here. Right. So, but yeah, so they would have to just um, it'll it'll route them back to your website to check out. Okay, that's that is good to know, and that that gives me a another outlook on it because that that kind of helps you get out of that 30 day uh, return policy too. 
uh, because if it's routing back to your web store, then where they purchase it from is the return policy they are to abide by. So that that is very good to know. That's that's gonna make me take second a second gander at it. Thank you, Tamika. Anybody else got anything? Any questions, comments, concerns? You can also tag your items from your Shopify store when posting on business page stories and possibly as a general post. Okay, that's good to know. Amber says, I have my Shopify link to my Facebook shop only to tag my items. When people come tap the tag item, it takes them to my Shopify store. Okay, awesome. Very good information. And it will take them to your website to check out. Good, good. I might be getting with y'all in the very near future so we can uh, see how that is done. That That's good. I, I need links to y'all's uh, Facebook store so I can, I, I need to, I'm a visual person. <laughs> I want to see how the flow of that. All right. Suzette says, thank you, ladies. All right. So this is a great meeting. I hope that it was informative to you. I hope you will take the time to pivot, reassess, your business so that you can move forward and win the game. This is not, this time is not for play play. I love that Muppet that says that. Y'all know who, I think her name's Keisha or something. But this time is not for play play. Like it's, it's, it's game on, it's time, let's get it. All right, so y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you for your time and attendance. See you next week in Atomic April. And as always, continue to hustle hard.